So I am here with Brian. I'd like to know a little bit uh, about where you're from, but also uh, getting more specifically to the main questions are uh, how you heard about Yui Tran um, and what you were doing before uh, Yui Tran when you engaged with Yui Tran uh, and, and the practitioners, what mind shift took place after that? So that's a host of questions. So start at the beginning with uh, your, where you're from, introducing yourself a little oh bit. Oh my goodness. Um, okay, well that, you know, you have no idea what you've asked, but... Um, <laughs> okay, honestly, so I started martial arts when I was uh, 14, and that was 42 years ago. And um, I had a brother who was a, a student of the famous teacher, um, great grandmaster Chen Man Cheng. And we both lived in New York, and um, he got divorced, and, and I hadn't seen him for the first 13 years of my life, pretty much. And um, But um, he had an empty apartment, and we wound up hanging out all the time. And on the weekends, I was his training partner. So for five years, he went to this place called Shijiang in, in Canal Street in Chinatown in New York. And, um, and then he and I would do 6, 7, 10, 12, 15 hours of push hands all weekend, like 48 weeks out of a year for five years. So that was my introduction to Tai Chi Chuan. And we just did a classical thing called the 13 postures. That's all we did. I didn't learn form. And I got about two years in and I found I could beat up all my friends like really, really well. And they were all <laughs> bigger than me. And they all thought I was like the cute, you know, the coolest kid, uh, you know, that we all knew or what they knew or whatever. And so that was pretty inspiring. And, and then um, when I was 18, um, I got attacked on the street by a mafia lieutenant outside a pizza place because I had the audacity to sit on his uh, Cadillac. And then when he said, eh, I went and I gave him a certain hand maneuver. And I realized who it was. And he plowed down at me uh, like a freight train and um, just throwing endless punches. And, and um, I was just a funky little 120-pound kid, and none of them landed. And I just did this uh, stuff, which in Tai Chi Chuan is a uh, um, monkey, uh, repel, repulsive monkey, it's called, you step back. And so, and somehow, you know, 40, 50 punches, he basically ran out of energy, and, um, and then I was in the street, made a beeline, got out. So my friend who watched this was like, Oh my God, that's the most incredible thing I've ever seen. Where have you learned how to do that? And, and so that was my real life reference and then I was hooked, like really hooked. So I went and I um, studied with other teachers who are famous, written books. And my main core teacher um, had been uh, Grandmaster William Chen in New York City. Um, and he was, a, he was a disciple of Chen Man Ching. And I was with him for 10 years, and um, so I trained uh, with the idea of becoming a disciple of him also for uh, about six of those years. And I learned his whole system, 95% of his system, and I taught it for 10, 11 years. And I taught about a thousand people, and, uh, and I was, that started when I was 21, so I did that till I was about 32. And then um, he had this thing where he wouldn't choose a... Uh, a 13th disciple. There's some sort of thing about 12 and he didn't want to go on beyond 12 and he wouldn't make up his mind for about four years so basically we kind of parted and I went off to meditational practices mostly and met another master who did a lot of Taoist stuff, a lot of very esoteric strange sort of wookie stuff and um, but always meditated from the age of 14 and um, did these martial arts and got really good at fighting and um, so um, and then fast forwarding, um, so out of the 42 years or so, though, I have about 27 years where I, I worked out hard, like 20, 30, 35, even 40 hours a week, you know, for, that would be about 27 years. So, you know, there's life, you can't um, just not live it. So, um, so it's kind of like that. And then in 2003, I almost broke my back. I had a major herniation to the base of my spine doing landscaping work, and um, I lost my ability to walk for about eight weeks. I needed surgery. I couldn't walk around the block for about six months, and I couldn't walk one, two miles a day like I used to be able to for about two years. And I tried to get better. I had to quit my job and lost income, and all these, you know, dramatic things happened. 
And then fast forward from there about six years, and I was never at this place I call 100%. So uh, there's a special relationship between me and Sifu Kelly Graham in that my brother it was his teacher for, what was it, 16 years, 13 16 years, something? Years. 16 wow. years. So, um, but <laughs> I was my brother's first student. So um, I heard of, I uh, had to get that in there. And I heard of, um, uh, of Kelly. For years, I always wanted to have lunch with him, and uh, it just he would hang out with my brother, and um, you know, uh, it just never happened. And anyway, so I was talking to my brother's wife, and she said, you know, if you want to reach 100%, go check this guy out. And so, you know, I, I said okay, and um, you know, I tried going back to my old school to William uh, Grandmaster William, and, and there's a there's a high-level teacher in, in Tucson, too, in his tradition, who's my Sifu. And, um, and so anyway, long story short, I went and, uh, you know, uh, called up Kelly. And, uh, you know, he invited me to, to come over. And so I thought he was doing Tai Chi Chuan, of course. Like, what else, you know? Maybe Bagua, maybe Xingyi. I had heard he'd done, done that and stuff. And then he's doing this, like, really crazy stuff. And I was like, okay, this is really weird. It's so close but it's not the same and not only that I I don't have a snowball's chance in you know proverbial you know you know where um, of, of you know beating this guy it's like you know how could he be that good you know like I should be able to get him a time or two you know but I knew right away no chance and so that like turned my whole world upside down like you know from the first touch and uh, so then I found out he was doing it, what he was doing, and I just, you know, fell into a chasm of, um, of enchantment. I mean, it was just um, the most fascinating martial art I've ever come across. I mean, I'm not just saying that because Sigong is here. And, 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 and I was just captured, and, and I kind of like fell in love. And um, uh, because so many things had failed for me, and then I got just six months down the line, and I thought like what 100% would be, I was like, but oh, wait a minute, this feels like 120%. And I got another <laughs> month or two down the line, I was like, wow, this feels like what I would have considered 150% to be. I'm like, I'm as strong as an ox compared to where I was for several years with a severe injury. So I have permanent damage of my right sciatic nerve. And uh, anyway, and uh, so I was like, you know, got to train because Yi Li Chan is my medicine. You know, and so I have to take it. <laughs> and um, so I've, I've I've been you know going along for um, three and a half years now. And um, so um, this began in April of 2012. The way that it's different is, is that there's parallels. You know, it's close. Um, you know, um, and I thought like at first, you know, like oh it lines up. You know, it lines up to my reference. And then I was like, then I realized this is not anything that is my reference this is you know um i mean i consider it martial genius i mean it's just amazingly brilliant if you have like the background i have and um so anyway um so here i am three and a half years on and um you know healthy strong um mentally very healthy because disability will you know, you know make you uh, impact you and um, so I can't, you know, I can't uh, be grateful enough. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>